Thank you, Seekers. I'm Nick. That's right, ladies and gents. It's our first video for 2020. We took a couple days off so we could recharge our batteries and come back really, really strong. And with that said, our first video for the year will be covering this motherboard, the MSI X299 Pro. Now, this board has been designed to work with this new Intel Beast, the 10980XE, right out of the box. So yeah, without further ado, Let's uh, take a closer look at the X299 Pro from MSI. As usual with these motherboard videos that we do on the channel, these are not reviews, they're just overviews so you can get an idea of what comes in the box when you buy a brand new motherboard and what all of these things are. Yeah, it's definitely not a review. So without further ado, let's... Uh, Let's, let's check it out. Alrighty, we're checking out MSI's brand new X299 Pro, part of their new Pro Series boards for workstations and business applications. Okay, let's get the board out of the plastic and take a little bit of a closer look at all the things that come with the motherboard. First up, we've got the IO shield. Now, unlike most newer motherboards, the IO shield for this board is not permanently attached, which is okay, it's no problem. It just adds an extra step when you're building. Next up, we've got some SATA cables. Now, I I thought there was going to be more than two with this motherboard, but it's okay. This board is on the cheaper end of the spectrum with these X299 motherboards. Now we have a three pin Corsair addressable RGB connector. Now this will plug from the motherboard's Corsair header into a Corsair RGB hub. I don't know why you need this on a workstation motherboard. Next up is this three pin addressable RGB adapter cable. You will find this in most MSI motherboards from probably the last two or three years. Is. There's also a 4 pin 12 volt RGB splitter that splits out into two things. So if you've got uh, LED lighting strips and that kind of stuff, again, not quite sure why you'd need this for a workstation motherboard. There's also this true gaming sticker that has just been thrown in the box for the new Pro Series boards. But if you were to game with this and have this on your case, 4,000 extra FPS. Next up is an M.2 screw for one of the M.2 slots because this board does actually feature two M.2 slots. There's also a thank you for choosing a MSI product card. Now this will just show you basically where to register your products if you wanted to do that. There's this circular plastic round disc that contains some type of information for the motherboard that no one uses in 2020. Yep. Get rid of these. <laughs> Next up is this sheet of stickers for your SATA cables so you can label them when you plug them in. You know where they are, you know what they do, you know what drives they are. Pretty standard stuff here. Next up is this quick installation guide. This will show you how to install the CPU in a 2066 socket. It's a little bit different to a regular Intel socket, so yeah, this one helps you out. And last but not least is the Pro Series manual for the X299 Pro and the X299 Pro 10G, which we're not showing in this video because we don't have one. And yeah, this is basically to help you with overclocking and where everything is in the BIOS. All right, let's uh, get this motherboard out of the plastic so we can take a little bit of a closer look at this brand new motherboard. Now, what MSI has done is they've refreshed all of their boards to support the new Cascade Leg X CPUs right out of the box so you don't have to do anything fancy. You don't have to flash the BIOS. Basically, you don't have to do anything. You put your brand new CPU in this motherboard and you'll be good to go right out of the box. Okay, let's see what's on this board. First up, we've got a front panel audio connector. There is a 12 volt four pin RGB header. There's three PWM fan connectors for connecting your fans and all that jazz. There's a TPM header in case you wanted to use that. It's good for business applications. There is a power and reset switch. There's two USB 2.0 headers for things like AOO coolers and stuff that requires USB 2.0. I don't know why people get upset, but they need to keep these for now. There's also a front panel panel connector for all your lights and switches and an addressable 3 pin 5 volt addressable RGB header up the end. There's 6 SATA connectors for your 2.5 inch SSDs or your 3.5 inch spinning rust drives. There's a USB 3.2 right angle header. There's also a USB type C header next to that. Another regular USB 3.2 header. There's also a 24 pin power connector to send all of that juice to your brand new X299 Pro. Next to the 24 pin 
in Power Connector, there is a stack of LEDs that will help you diagnose anything. If anything goes wrong, they call it Easy Debug LED. It's all in the name. Next up is a Corsair RGB header, another 3-pin 5-volt addressable RGB header, a CPU fan PWM connector, and an AIO pump connector as well. If we move to the other side of the top of the motherboard, we've got two 8-pin EPS power connectors to send all that juice to your brand new 10980XE and another PWM fan connector. There are four PCIe slots. The top one is a 16x, the second one is an 8x, the third one is another 16x, and the bottom one is another 8x slot. This board supports SLI and crossfire. Okay, let's take those M.2 heat sinks off so we can take a little bit closer look at those M.2 slots. Now this board only has two slots and because this board is X299, it is only PCIe Gen 3. You're not getting any of that PCIe Gen 4 storage love, not yet. I think Intel will probably do that in the next year or so, but for now, You'll have to stick with PCIe Gen 3. Now I couldn't find any information on the specifics of the VRM but I'm gonna say it's going to be a 13 plus 1 digital VRM setup and as you can see it's got more than adequate cooling across the top. Let me know if you know what the VRM setup is on this. I didn't have much time to investigate this because this board's for someone else and yeah it's also got additional cooling on the back of the IO shield with a heat pipe connecting it all. Now, this board does support quad channel DDR4 memory up to 4200 megahertz overclocked. It uses a standard 2066 socket which supports the 78000 series, the 9000 series, and the 10th gen Intel Cascade Lake X CPUs. Yeah, and it's also got the standard cooler mounting for all of those sockets, so you don't need to do anything fancy. Most coolers will support this right out of the box, so anything that's 2011 and above will support this. There's a PS2 port, two USB ports, there's a BIOS flashback, some more USB ports, there's two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapters because this isn't the 10G version. There's a USB Type-C connector and 7.1 digital surround sound. Speaking of surround sound, let's play some music. Hope you guys enjoyed our first video for 2020. I already know how you guys feel about this CPU and we know there's plenty of other CPUs that are actually better than this chip and perform a lot better, but that's not the point of these videos. It's to cater for every other person who might actually be interested in a motherboard that supports this CPU out of the box. And yeah, that's why we do it. Plus, this builds for another YouTuber and we're gonna be building it in the next few days. We're just waiting for the RAM to arrive. So we're gonna do a brand new build and it may or may not be the first build for the year. I'm not sure. I do have like, I think four builds to do in the first month of the year. So yeah, it should be pretty exciting and there's lots of cool stuff coming up that we can't talk about just yet. But man, 2020 is going to be pretty wild and I cannot wait to share more stuff with you guys. If you're interested in any of the music in these videos, I make all the music. There's a link to our Patreon or you can click the YouTube join button. I'm still trying to figure that out with the getting the music to the YouTube members, but it's we're gonna do it this week basically. So yeah, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that 
motherboard video. Wow, it's really um, crazy to be back in 2020, right, Claire? This is our second year on YouTube with this channel. Coming on the 8th of January will be our official second year upload anniversary, which is pretty crazy, eh? It's been wild. We cracked 50,000 subscribers. We did lots of fun stuff in 2019. And yeah, here's to 2020. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Or yeah, hit that join button if you want to help buy the cat more cat food. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek. We seek. And yeah, as I mentioned in a few videos at the end of last year, we're not going to be attending CES 2020 because we've got other things to do that are just as important. But yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.